Glad to have you back, which is joining us, you're watching Plus Politics. Now, moving on to the next segment, our total of 447 out of over 5,000 nominees received, uh, where nominees received were presented by National Honours Awards. The Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs, George Akume, said. Akume stated these in his opening address at the National Honours Awards Investiture at the International Conference Centre Abuja on Tuesday. According to Akume, only 447 persons made the allowed list out of all the nominees who were drawn from various walks of life across the public and private sectors. The National Honours Awards was established by the National Honours Act of 6 in 1964 as it took a re uh, retroactive effect from October 4, 1963. The Act empowers the President, by warrant, denied an order of dignity to honour deserving citizens who have contributed to the development and progress of the country in any field of endeavour. Now, according to the Minister, 447 citizens and also foreigners, labelled as Nigerians and friends of Nigeria, received various honours ranging from the Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger and Federal Republic Medals. Joining us to discuss this is Tunji Abdul Hamid, a legal practitioner, and also we have a former Ibomina uh, journalist. Glad to have you on the program. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Now, the uh, first and famous question, which is uh, you know, very key to everyone, is looking at these awards, after 5,000, we have 447. Now, first, what can you say about this? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Now, as I'm looking at uh, the award, uh, the, the awards being pre presented by the president, Mahmoud Bwari, uh, 447 hour Ds out of uh, 5,000 nominees. What is your take to this first? Well, um, to, to be very honest, I think it's uh, mixed, mixed feelings. Um, you, you would argue that there are quite a number of persons on that list, you know, who are well deserving of um, their awards. Yes. Uh, you talk about the WCO, DG, um, you yes. talk about people like um, Amina Mohammed, you know, who's uh, done absolutely amazing. Um, you talk about um, uh, the, the writer, the famous writer, Ngozi Adichie, uh, Chimamanda. Chimamanda. Um, you talk about, you know, uh, some celebrities, some entertainers there. Um, you also mention, you know, the imam who, in uh, a time of religious crisis, yes, you questions. know, ensured that over 200 persons were not um, killed by a mob, beat them in mosques and churches, you know. Um, so, so, but, but then again, there's also, there's also the other side of the equation where a couple of our well-known politicians, who many would argue, um, haven't really distinguished themselves in the real sense of, of it, you know. Uh, so I, I would say it's a mixed bag. Some well-deserving, some you look at it and say, uh, what exactly has this person done to be on the list? But hey, um, there are certain criteria that um, the government you know, looked at. And you, you could argue also from one, another side of the station that maybe some of these guys met those criteria. Hmm. Now, if it was to said now, looking at the argument that is on ground, actually, there have actually been arguments because uh, uh, some are saying, no, some are speculating that uh, this actual award given is uh, politically uh, motivated. You know, looking at, uh, like, some are saying that these people are actually giving this award. They're not, they don't, they, some of them don't really deserve it because they say it out of, out of you know, 100%, 90, over 90% of them don't really deserve this, because what have we actually seen, what have we actually done looking at the country today? Now, what can you say to these actual aspects? Do, do you say that they really actually deserve this, or they actually don't deserve this? So, like, like I, I did say earlier, uh, there are certain criteria, you know, that the government, uh, you know, put out as part of what you know, was used before um, selecting those who were selected. You know, one of them includes that the person or the recipient 
um, has to be a consistent, you know, uh, meaningful participation in either the person's community or for national development. Or that the person must have rendered unsolicited, selfless, and philanthropic services to humanity. Uh, but talk about the politicians that you mentioned, I think there's a criteria you could argue, you know, that fits them. Um, one of them is service integrity, you know. So maybe for the governors or the former ministers or some of the other career politicians, they probably serve with integrity. The Senate president, you could argue, he's been in the National Assembly you know, since 1999. Love him or hate him, he has actually contributed immensely to the development of uh, Nigeria's democracy. First as a House of Rep member, you know, and now as a senator, and most importantly, as Senate president. Again, love him or hate him, you could also argue that this present National Assembly or the present Senate, you know, under his leadership, while some, you know, have argued that um, they are a rubber stamp feeling, may be rightly so. You could also argue that there are quite a number of um, bills that, you know, they have passed that would help um, the, the common man on the street. So from that angle, you could argue that he served with integrity. I'm, I'm sure if there's anyone you know, who has anything um, to the contrary, you uh -huh. possibly come out to say, oh, no, this is president has done this, you know, okay. or he has done that, and so he's not he's not said with integrity. I'm using him as a case study, you know, for some of the other politicians on that list who you could probably look at some of the studies in the nation and say, Well, these persons have served with integrity. So from that angle, yes, you know, you could say yes, he merited it. But then okay. you know, I just mentioned earlier, they are too full of thought. You know, there are a number of persons um, that you look at their their uh, years of service as either a governor or a minister, okay. and there's probably nothing to write him about. I think one of one of course in my head is if I'm mistaken, Minister of Education. It's a bit ironic that at a time when the country is going through still battling the security, strike, exactly on lockdown for eight months. Yes that the Minister of Education is um, reportedly part of the award. Of course. He really doesn't, really, really doesn't you know, yeah, my English fails now, but he really doesn't portray yeah, great population for the country. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to I'm going over to uh, uh, Tinja Abdulhamid. Uh, Abd Abd sorry. Uh, what can you say about this? You've heard uh, what uh, uh, Mr. Ofama said. Uh, now on to you. What can you say about this? Looking at the uh, the awards, the awardees, the award will be given to these uh, 447 persons. Do they truly deserve this? Now you mentioned uh, the likes of um, uh, the education minister. When we have where we still have the house strike still ongoing and still battling over eight months. Now, what can you say? Do they truly actually deserve this? Yeah, I, I am forcing myself to so hear you and even the... Okay. For me, I, uh, I didn't hear the word text. What do you want If I if want to agree about the... Whether or not they need to work with the product or not, am I right? I didn't, I didn't get you. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I said uh, I'm talking myself to hear you, but I, if I if I hear you right, yes, you are talking about the uh, on the on the on Yes, the award is being given to them, the 447 persons. Uh, well, anyway, let me just uh, make a little bit of okay. The the national honor. I think uh, it's meant for people who have uh, consistently and meaningfully contributed to the development of, of the country, yeah. either in the community, within the community, in the state, or the national uh, commission. Yes. They must have done very well in the area of expertise. They must have done in the area of the uh, established uh, services of philanthropic services. They must have done all those things. They must have. Uh, Participated, he must have contributed in so many of the country. If you want to look at it, 
you may want to say some of them are not qualified, but maybe because, because of the nature of, of the way things are in the country and especially their head. Yeah. If you want to also look at it in other, you want to say they don't deserve a very commentary for them. You see, we are in a country where people are not even ready to talk. I don't say they are in their community or outside the community. So when you see people who have even put themselves out to say, I want to start, you don't know even if I appreciate them for doing this. Yeah, whether they are doing it in a very well or not, that's a point. Because a lot of these people who are public activists or whatever, they are being paid, you know, they are well remunerated for their job. So I will not say because they need that they never expected for his job, has done excellently well to deserve uh, honor and peace today because uh, what they have done have not taken the country to a to level that we expect, not, not even an a, 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 a average level. So, as far as I'm concerned, those categories of people should not be qualified to be given that honor because uh, what we have seen today is that most of them are included because of their political uh, 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 interest. The, uh, you can see also. If you look at the list, there are some people who are... Hello. How many people, uh, they don't hold any political office. They want to have done to be, to be encouraged to order for you know, other Nigerians to follow them. Because, like, for example, there's one man there, I'm going to go with that, Nintendo the Prime, who uh, was a security officer at the, at the park, and the first one forgot the 10,000 dollars or so. And then he turned, he was also given, he was given the lowest credit of that award. Whereas people got the same thing, so it must be the same thing when he did that. And he did it, he did it, he did it, the man who, who the, uh, 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 the Afa and the staff, who is the best assistant to their uh, community, yes. he was not given, that is also deserving of it. Some other plan of it. Like uh, other uh, 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 business men and other uh, people, I, I, I will not support any of the political uh, uh, people that have been given the award. They are, they are striving, as the they are striving, they are being paid, they are being remunerated. If it is, as far as I'm concerned, it's adequate. If they say the word that giving them is not, it's adequate, as far as I'm concerned. So I expect you have done, you have seen that in your area of in your ministry. There have been a lot of changes in that ministry. They have done a lot to improve the community. And we can say it's that, for example, uh, let's say Adora Akapunili. Anybody knew that she did well in the, uh, 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 at Nabdak, uh, where, where she was there. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Uh, on the final note. Uh, those people who have been given, who are in okay. ministry, those who have not shown well, they have not seen what thing they've done in their area to deserve it. Are being given in color of political associates or political interest. In fact, even uh, the, the, the tradition that we know before, that the former state president are always giving uh, 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 that honor, the 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 director of the was not given, but, but just because you know, it's not in a, in, 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 in a good uh, position with the foreign thing, the government. So it shows that there are a lot of biases in people. Okay. You know, who <laughs> All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, due to our time, we won't be able to take more questions. But really, at least with the leads we've heard, you know, it's still both sides. Some are actually deserve, why some don't actually deserve. Uh, you've mentioned uh, giving uh, examples of those that actually deserve it and those that don't actually deserve it. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on the program, Mr. Tunji Abdul Hamid, and a legal practitioner. And also, we have a former Obamune, a journalist. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And then that's it on uh, Plus Politics tonight. But uh, before I go, I would like to uh, give my take.
And here's my take, uh, there is truth that all parents struggle with. Oh, no matter how much you wish to prepare your child to stand on ease or our own, the prevailing notion of wisdom coming with age uh, always attempts one to interfere and guide right the child onto the right path. The same can be said of the military godfathers who deemed themselves the old man seen further than the child at the top of the palm tree could possibly see. Now, even at the risk of their actions being nothing more than expressions of their own personal interest to the detriment of the greater national will, uh, these are former generals often mastermind a game of chairs meant to keep the true seat of power where it has always been. Now, the arms of government may be three and the press may serve as the fourth estate, while the military is the pillar upon which all political power truly rests in Nigeria. In the art of art, uh, as uh, has been uh, drilled in them through decades in the armed forces, patriotism is their great motivator. However, trying to maintain the status quo for the sake of one group or region of people to always stay at the top can only guarantee stagnation and ultimately a breakdown of the system. The second truth that all parents know but will never tell their child is that in order for he or she to find their own path and to walk it, uh, they must break free of the designs of those who have always guided them. Now, on the other side of that is the true meaning of independence. I'm Emmanuel Olububukun. Do have a good evening.